Here we're going to use a 275 model heart communicator to do an upper sensor trim on a Rosemount 3051 differential pressure transmitter. We have a Fluke model 744 calibrator hooked up through a pressure module so it can read the air pressure we are applying to that transmitter. Over here we have a pressure regulator that we can dial up manually, set it to whatever pressure we want. Currently we are set to pretty close to 25 PSI. It doesn't have to be exactly any figure at all. That's one of the beauties of doing a digital trim. It just has to be a stable number, a stable pressure value. So we're gonna let it sit there and stabilize. Using the heart communicator, we're going to navigate into where it says device setup. And go into diagnostic service. And then we wanna go into, what do you think? Which option? Calibration. Calibration, right. Okay, and then the option of sensor trim and the option of upper sensor trim. It says, please wait, all right? Loops should re be removed from automatic. That's a good piece of advice. Apply the high pressure. Let's verify this pressure is stable. 24, 25.001, 24.996, 995, 000. Looks pretty stable to me. So, come over here and hit OK. It says press OK when pressure is stable. Okay, we've already done that, so press OK. And now it says, enter the applied pressure value. It thinks it's reading 25.019547. In reality, we're applying 25.001. So let's type in 25.001. We're going to tell it how much pressure that actually was. We're gonna hit enter. And it says now remove pressure. So we're going to, no, don't hit OK yet. We need to actually turn the air pressure off. So please turn the air valve off. Jim, open up our equalizing valve to vent that pressure. We look over here to the flute to verify. Sure enough, we have vented all of our air pressure. Now hit OK. Note, loop may be returned to automatic control. Hit OK, good. Truth be known, we could have kept the pressure applied, but if it gives you a warning like remove the pressure, I'm gonna follow it if I'm in the trim menu. Okay, now we go back to the home screen. With our transmitter vented, it should indeed read 0, 0.00 PSI. Go ahead and turn our air back on. Jim, close the equalizing valve. Our fluke is measuring 25.1 or so PSI, and it'll take some time to stabilize. And to verify that our trim worked, we should come back here and look at the process variable value, and it says 25.00. And we're reading 24.991, 24.996. We're right there. So our trim has definitely worked. And what we have done is we have just told that transmitter what 25 PSI looks like. So now the microprocessor has an accurate view of the real pressure we are applying to it. This is different from the range points. Our range points of 0 and 30 tell the microprocessor how to scale the 4 to 20 milliamp output signal according to the pressure it sees. What we just did with the trim corrects any mistakes it may have had or misperceptions it may have had in the pressure that it sees. That's the difference.